17th, 2016, and the time is 3.15 p.m. The Committee on Higher Education, Cultural Affairs, Public Libraries, and Women's Affairs, I will conduct a public hearing in the public hearing room of the Guam Legislature on the following. Uh, we would have the appointment of Mr. Francisco B. Rabon, Folk Arts Representative to the Councils on the Arts of Humanities, known as CAHA, and the appointment of Francisco C. Lizama, also from the Folk's Art Representative for CAHA. After that, then we're gonna hear bills number, one bill, number 302-33, is an act to add a new section 849.12 to Article 1 of Chapter 8 of Title 1, Guam Code Annotated, relative to naming the 34 Festival of the Pacific Arts Village Houses, Lugat e Manmanaita Nyata, and each house individually after heroes and leaders of the Chamorro Spanish War. A five day notice was given on May 10th, and also a 48 hour notice was also given on May 15th. I have Senator uh, Camacho here with me, uh, Torres, Camacho Torres, uh, joining me this afternoon. So we're gonna start off um, uh, with the uh, nominees, and I'm gonna go ahead and start then with Mr. Rabon, and you have, uh, So far, 10 individuals have signed in uh, in support of your nomination, but I'd like to call up uh, Eileen uh, Menu, a tr a, uh, who represents a tribal council, also to speak and testify on your behalf. And thereafter, if there's anybody else who are interested, please, uh, you know, either sign in and you may come uh, forward then to testify. So Miss Eileen, then Menno, you're recognized. Hafere, Guahu si Senora Eileen Menno. By tutun, antes to by introducing my sedo ni hafena matata tung do guini. This team met no be shentus no bentai do si studentin si Senor Frank Rabon, ki escuela itak hilo na escuela ginin ina lahan. The Disti Edzuna Tempo is the Pago, who is Tutoria Ki Sampapatnia. Colin Lati Edun Ginin Hagasa, a student, a student tenure, Sikiko Ginin Edzuna Escuela. The Esther Callan, a Disti Edzuna Tempo is the Pago, Hagigi Haha Guahu, the name Manet Luhu Ginin in Non Mamfa Fanagui. Nabila, it's the Kumeke Lekna e Tribal Council. Um, half a day, my name is Eileen Menel, and since the year 1992, I have studied under uh, Fr Francisco B. Rabon as a student from Inaran High School up to the present day. And under his tutelage, he has helped to develop many programs that help to continue the promotion and perpetuation of the Chamorro language and culture through the form of dance. And through his tutelage and his guidance, he has set many fundamentals and he was very instrumental in um, guiding many people to believe in who we are as indig indigenous people to this island. And I am here on behalf of my brothers and sisters of the uh, Chamorro uh, traditional dance um, genre and we are I, I on behalf of them we fully support this the uh, nomination of Mr. Rabon um, and I believe that his participation in the folk arts uh, aspect of the council at Kaha would fully impact and continue to impact the community as he has done so for the many years that he has been the mentor, director, and owner of Tato Tano. So he has directly contributed and impacted many lives. And so through his, this nomination, I fully support, along with my brothers and sisters, as well as the children that have come across 
his in this journey alongside him. Sign of mercy. Thank you very much. So, to the community, of course, anyone who are, are out there who would like to testify, um, you're welcome to come forward. If not, you can also submit later on, if you like, a written testimony, uh, and you can have it delivered here to the legislature. You can mail it to us at 155 Hessler Place in Hagatnya. You can deliver it to my office, which is in that corner over here from this building. You can email it to fbtorres at uh, Judy Wonfat, the left local email address, J U D I. <laughs> and uh, of course, you can deliver it to our office or fax it to 472 3589. Okay, so your sister wants to testify? Haziman Malago, Taza, so staff, Mr. Rabon. Oh, my love. So, can you just give her the sheet to sign in afterwards? And just state your name and if you are, of course, speaking in favor of uh, the nominee or not. I'm sure you are. <laughs> but just state that for the record. I'm the Fafanagui of Guma Imahin Tatatano, Giza, San Diego, California. I fully support the nomination of my Sina, Francisco B. Robon, um, to be appointed um, and represent our cultural dance genre with um, all the Gumas, whether it's on island, CNMI, Japan, or across the United States. Um, Clearly, that signifies the the magnitude, and it states the magnitude of how um, our Sina has definitely Im impacted our lives, and we therefore have gone forward and continued to spread that knowledge and that wisdom with the rest of our students that we have come across through time. <laughs> I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to uh, elaborate on. It's kind of the spur of the moment, but um, needless to say, um, Mr. Frank has established, you know, um, a visual, a visual um, aspect of how somebody can depict our way of life, and that was something that was lacking many years ago. I too was in high school, I didn't run high school under his instruction um, with Saina Eileen, uh, Master Eileen. And since then we've become basically, um, you know, his, his um, I wouldn't say uh, catalyst, would that be a good word? So it's kind of like they became, we became the founding, you know, uh, building blocks for this dream. Um, Fespec being here in Guam, uh, many years now, I'm 40 years old, never thought we'd ever see that day, but thank you to Frank because now we can actually um, capture this in, a, in a, you know, a time capsule. And now when all these delegations come in, they can certainly see a glimpse of our rich history and our past as opposed to us popping on a CD or you know, trying to come out with 15 different versions of who we think we are. So the identity of our people are vividly clear, and the younger generation to come, you know, are definitely being uh, educated, you know, through the school systems or in the after-school program. So this is definitely beneficial for my master in Sino Frank to be on the call hall board. Thank you. You're welcome, and thank you for your testimony. Okay, then, so, Senor, Hago Pago. Dispensado sa tipodunzo no podesti po esti na finenda no brain na betagisti no no matendisti na klase no kasyon za uonra sa no in in hasuna ben ben na idu no opportunidad ni bebe fatatsun no gakusto na bebe faisen hamzo antes di u u komite zo ni esti na 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 okasyon ni bebe fatatsun sa kulan no 
afutunu lele a kulan maman manhu di 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 anu hasuno a ane matata tsungo gi komite an i fespak za masengani zo na i goberno a na danya i i kaha agency za polo gi sampa pa dca un 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 department ta pago a ezgi pago be ketungo afuna necessary na poga board na tiga ha si i department of human affairs to nya board za ansina enten fan la lo ko sinya na a claro zu paraguay pes na sinya be sangani zu ni intention of na deposit po ga board gi kahani it's an agency under department of chimor affairs okay i'm going to try to answer that based on at least the actions of uh, the governor the governor even the previous uh, administration um, attempted to do some reorganizing of the government to consolidate some departments and agencies to avoid redundancy and to cut back on expense in terms of uh, having directors and deputy directors. Now, in this particular case, the the Department of Chamorro Affairs, you know, was, uh, Minkaha was incorporated into the Department of Chamorro Affairs, the museum, the library, yes. uh, in the hopes, like I said again, to cut expenses, and now it's being run or headed by one director, and that's, of course, uh, Mr. Cameron. So that's how uh, we see that for that particular group of departments and agencies that are small, uh, that could still then make one, one larger department. Similar to uh, ancestral lands, Chamorro Land Trust, they all fall under the Department of Labor now. So they fi try to find like um, departments and agencies, uh, or divisions for that matter, and then put them uh, under one. So that's the reason for it. Now, the structure for a board, however, remains. Okay. That, that part has not changed. Okay. And, and I think primarily because some of the functions for CAHA will be very different from that then of the other. Uh, so uh, at least though in that part, the board members are still active and that's why now your appointment. Okay. Now the <clears throat> other question in terms of uh, you being a member at one time, of course, to uh, for FESPAC, remember the organizing committee, that by the law that was created, I would say maybe three terms ago, when Guam was going to put in its bid for FESPAC, the bill was written and it set up the makeup of the members of the of the uh, FESPAC committee. And other than those mandated by law, uh, the governor appoints all others. Okay. And that's why you, you saw many of the changes and okay. why you saw those that stayed only state because it's by law. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That. Thank you very much. So, and Paguna Claro, okay, it's to give to Tilly Magi, you need no puppet, the Brano Be Pola, Stipa Hamzu. This is a complete biography as well as my resume that attests to all my credentials with regards to what I've been doing as a cultural practitioner. And uh, this, this stipulates a lot of the many grants that I've been a part of writing and uh, implementation as uh, a staff under Pa'a Tautotano, a nonprofit organization. I've also been very active with a lot of other nonprofit organizations, primarily in the cultural aspects of our, our people's indigenous identity and within the community in, in the preservation of the Chamorro language and culture. Uh, if that's what the the nomination is seeking, then I feel that I'm um, very much honored and I would like to do what I can to assist in, in, in the movement forward for a better uh, understanding of our indigenous people in the community of our island. And uh, I don't need to read this, I can leave this for, the, for you, Speaker Wampat and Senator Torres, that, that you can be aware and it can be placed uh, on record, but it has a complete uh, attestment of all my my awards, my credentials, my education, as well as my my work in productions and and other value, uh, important information you might need. 
in, in making your selection for nomination. Uh, if there's nothing else, I, I'm clear now with what, what the board is all about. And I oh, now I am doing the cement in na Izu Tempo, Gini, the Nita Town in Manalum, that the Tibet Chuli Pagun Mas Tempo Mizu Paguna and Samantinatani Etodo. Well, um, I want to thank you very much, of course, uh, for accepting the uh, nomination by the governor to, to sit in the uh, Kaha board. and. I mean, I don't think there's anyone here uh, on island, I'm not saying so much the legislature, but on island who would, uh, you know, testify to the fact that, you know, you are not qualified because right here before me with your applica application, not seeing what you have there, is that it's, there's volumes of, uh, you know, things that you've put down for your work experiences and your uh, festival participation uh, you know, it's just uh, for somebody in such a, in your lifetime, have accomplished uh, so much. And, you know, and you truly are a, a master of, you know, what you do. And it's a testimony, of course, uh, when I was there at St. Francis Auditorium, when all of your students all became, started their own schools and their master teachers themselves. So. You know, that, that's definitely a testament of, you know, the breadth and the extent of what you do for our language and our, our culture. So I want to thank you very much uh, you. Uh, for offering your time. It's not as if though you don't have a lot of time because uh, you're doing a lot of things, but yet you're still, you know, uh, making the time to do this. And I think it's because of your love for, you know, our culture and our practice that you can, you know, you continue to accept the different positions that you're asked to take on and you're not going to get any pushback from me i fully support of course your nomination and you know of course uh, i don't anticipate really honestly any one of my colleagues uh, you know not supporting you so you. we will put your uh, confirmation we'll prepare the committee report and you put your confirmation before you know the body for confirmation all right Thank you. Thank you. I'm very honored. And of course, if the senator has anything to add on before you leave, because I thank you too, because I know you're going up there to greet a, a delegation yes. that's coming in. Thank you for doing that as well. It's thank for you. our our people. Yeah. Senator Rabon, I just want to also acknowledge that we've watched you for many, many years and um, are always impressed. But I think when you when you go to the Kaha board. I, what, I, what I'm hoping is that you'll remember what it took for you to get to where you are. And hopefully you can, you can also bring to the table what it is that would get other people who maybe are, are really in no position right now to, to, to start up, to get them inspired to start up. Because, you know, the only way that, that things really, that we can grow this forest in our tradition is to plant one seed at a time, no? Yes. Yes. And to get other people, not just within your influence but other people that maybe you've not worked with or who don't know you to also start something up on their own so that, that's what I'm looking forward to um, with having someone like you is you've come to a very great place but you started somewhere yes. where maybe it was just a dream right that was sparked somewhere somewhere deep yes yeah so Sidhu Smaasi and uh, I most certainly will support your nomination thank you okay I'm very honored thank you so this is be dismissed to go to the airport. <laughs> this must be. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll make sure we'll make a note of that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we'll write his name in here too. Okay, so the next nomination that we have here is the uh, nominee of uh, Francisco C. Lizama also to be a folk arts, uh, folks art representative to Caja. And we have, uh, in this case as well, 11 to 12 uh, supporters uh, who, who came to show their support 
but uh, wish to not speak. However, we do have uh, uh, Roxanne Chang, who would also then now speak, uh, uh, provide testimony in support of uh, Mr. Lizama. Thank you, Madam Speaker, Mompad, and Senator Torres. We appreciate this time taken to uh, select or, or listen to our support for the two candidates. Uh, my name is Roxanne Chang, Garrido Chang, and I am here in support of Francisco Lizama. Uh, I, it's kind of biased because I'm the niece, I'm the grandniece. He is my grandfather's brother, but more importantly, I think I'm here to share with everyone not what you already know, which is he is the master blacksmith. And I think and I feel and I believe that because of his passion, not only his experience in the military and in the government and what he brings to the table, it's more his passion of the craft of blacksmith and nurturing and teaching our young children and continuing the art and the culture. I think we're losing it and we need more of Mr. Abone, you know, and my uncle to continue and pass it on. So I think he'd be an excellent candidate um, to be a part of the uh, CAHA board. That's it. Well, thank you very much thank for you. your testimony. Is there anybody else who are out there who would like to last minute come up and make? I see some discussions going on where they want to do it. Well, if you decide later on, you can let me know then. So, Mr. Lizama. Hmm? So, when you're ready to speak, this press the button. The red light should come on, and uh, please identify yourself. And he may My name is Francisco C. Lizama, also known as Corn Beef. Okay. Actually, nobody in this island know me by my name, but my, my, my nickname. You know, so many years ago, this is the second time I'm going to appear before uh, the legislature. Many, many years ago, I appeared as a, for a nomination as a fire chief. And Magu uh, Zosa, Nominate Zui Gubet no Parabe Fatao Tsungi board, the Kaha board. As I look around and think about what this job is, you know, I think it's going to be a very, very, very difficult job. Very difficult job in making decisions and things like that. I've, as far as my decision making is concerned, I've made many decisions ever since the military and everything. I, I do that, and I do it uh, from here, okay? Yes. Uh, when I look at, uh, especially uh, when somebody goes up before, uh, before uh, a board to be a master, you know, I hope that uh, the people that uh, are nominating is not like just it, a freebie, you know? Uh, it's got to be... It's got to be genuine. It's not. It's not false. Okay, and that's what I look at. This board is doing. Okay, hopefully in the future I will be of um, assistance to this requirement. Lawa luluan na ajo pa ako na mas kaya no. Just <laughs> Again, half a question, Mizo. Please talk for a bit. Ramzo. Okay. Well, thank you uh, for that. Uh, I'm glad you brought up uh, the point about the position 
that you, of course, will eventually be a part of in making a decision, and that is the recognition of individuals in our community who are quote unquote masters of a particular art or a craft or uh, you know what have you in, in our Chamorro culture and practices. And, and I totally agree with you and I'm happy to hear you make that statement that it's gotta be somebody that you know is not just only knowledgeable, skillful, you know, is genuine about it, you know, is passionate about, you know, the craft and not because they just want the title. And I'm happy to hear you uh, say that and I would encourage you to continue to bring that to the table whenever there's any request or a nomination. Because I've heard people, you know, come to me and ask me, how can they be recognized? And I'm totally not in any position to do that and that's where you come in. And, and, I'm, and I'm happy to, to hear you, uh, you know, mention that because, I mean, everybody would love to have the title, but some of these types of um, skills and knowledge, you know, are, are, are very, very different that not anyone can just walk in and say that they are a master. So I appreciate, you know, um, you saying that. You know, I, in reviewing, of course, your, your packet, I mean, you have a wealth of information and a wealth of uh, experiences that you have uh, throughout, you know, in, in various areas and even, of course, you know, your actual academic, you know, training, but yet you have been able to master, you know, black, blacksmithing and that in itself, of course, um, does not compare to what you do you know, in an academic, you know, setting. So uh, you far surpass, you know, what anyone would consider when people think of an individual being nominated and what qualifications they have because we actually read this and we try sometimes to stretch it as much as we can to make them qualify. But in your, in your case, it's just no question at all. Uh, I'd like to also state that aside from those who sign in, which will show in the committee re report who who are here uh, on your behalf and in support of you, there's also at least three others uh, who have submitted uh, testimonies, written testimonies, and these these also will be included uh, in the committee report. Uh, so. You know, similar to Mr. Reborn, what we said, at least what I said, because I can commit uh, my, myself and my vote, is that, you know, I wholeheartedly uh, support, you know, your nomination and will move uh, towards that, you know, aim to commit the, to complete the committee report with the recommendation, you know, for you to be confirmed, okay, by this legislature. So thank you for your time, your love, your passion, your dedication, you know, to the arts itself, the Chamorro uh, arts as well, uh, you know, for um, giving of yourself even more, one more time again, you know, for the community. And, and I'm glad that you accepted the nomination from, you know, the governor's office, okay? So, Senator, do you have anything you'd like to add or ask? Senor, I wanna correct you on something. I never really knew you as corned beef, and I had a hard time when they told me just call him corned beef. I said, but that's Senor Lizama. How can I call him something else? So I always had a hard time. But, you know, I, I remember you from when we were in the Chimor Department of Chamorro Affairs Board also. And, um, and then a lot of times I've seen you out too when, when, we're, when they have events, cultural events where there's crafts and things that are being showcased. And one of the things that I think you and I talked about before was what can we do to to expand it right to get to perpetuate the the crafts and to teach the crafts and the skills the traditional skills that we have on guam and uh one of the the hardest things that that we realize is that a lot of times people don't have because they're working jobs or they don't have money for the resources to either buy the tools or to buy the material they really can't take uh a, they can't take their passion for learning something anywhere because they just don't have the resources. 
but uh, and you and I talked a little bit about that many years ago one time I think when we were in Agate just met many years ago about that challenge but you know is this something that that maybe you'd be interested in pursuing as a board member that idea of how do you how do we then take a trade or a tradition and teach it expand it give the ones that are interested some sort of resource so that they can build and learn is that something that that perhaps you you're interested also as a member of the board I'm gonna say matter of fact no enough on that sweet but I be my I'll go and get to say pen but I be not lot like he read so those narrated the mate okay the my piece is again a pair of if I'm not for my now go we got to know but then a lot like could to run Goff important is this a man my little auto the good to run maybe there's a nurse but a part go man my man my left fit for not some more or take in and on in a classy man my left fit for seniors man my left fit Macetti that did 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 the matungo our festi macetti then if you see news from a killing now as you get bent on us for when I find that light tomorrow what on I'm custom on your nang in Taza Macetti man Taza no fusinos mo to see no massacre so I give not pon supportive familiar mo hulu as to get Put him play no 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 names okay. That's why to do is the 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 other cultura. They be di tana la la. They be di tana la la. Esta pagum megeo lili ni si you know man mamangi to do fino tsamoro. Man malago i tau tau giz America no no CD basta CD to do okay lo sa it's all a decision na. Pada benar itu sesiapa pun ini, sejak anak setahun 74 years old, jauh bau lili sih anu, setahun mana lefa itu tu, mana malefa, mana malefa ni mana nata, antis tati, di setiak anak man sin magagago, guaha kutura, jadi berita nala. Who sent in a Anisita must my spear hardy my estragonosia gita nota hardy seen and no my fat new we eat out of the sang in thoughts a master and get to see no fat new we time man on two phone time man on a coffee that man how do you say carve um langan and again and again thoughts a it's all the resources and in thoughts a master and get thoughts a no I hardzo, I atzo, and we see and we see that it 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 tanum. The point so to to better on to to we the traditional arts. Pues magawa how simple no simple tapan malingo and we see. Dispenser, dispenser. Oh, atan is the na i lahano for the longest time. Oh, atan is the senior citizen. Na siya man matay, guati ningon yah. Man mampu todu klasi. Lo instead ma po ma pan ma spiedzo antis jaja po ma pasa i tiningonya. Pan ma pan awit ta man ma balaha, ta manu ma baila. Gigun matai i amko makpui wego. Aji gie malago po pan ma taka estesya sinisidun sun center. Jo tali mas caha pan na lingua hi. Tagalu, Chukis, whatever, okay. Half a thing on ya. Do fun, ma fun now with itau tau ta, okay. Instead of cha cha. No, nisita loke da spia i bisino no. Itau tau luta, itau tau seipan, itau tau ya. Zan suk ni matungo matufong kof maulik. Asagao ni gapano liesti dos. 
dos galaidi au sangoin galaidi matugin in satawa bulan tau togi kantun tasi aswa na sogwe jona lugat especialmente ji tau to palauni over a month and a half kitasi from one island to another pres matu ja mulan gi ja saipan dan e grandson mau pialop Seven years old. Bonito na sa nakfugo. Si Mauf Pialop, dos lahina, tumatitid siya sa navigation. Pumaluman malif pa. Dalam migay, manan dia siya. Ano nga, estiyan na putemplo na yung speaker and senator. Tatan sa ta paisin ni publiko hafa si noon fanao kwi. Okay? ni gini ni kutura. Kung tungo tumuba. Kung tungo man mamatinas no no tamman na mamatezi tautogi sa inalahan ni mamatitinas tali. Okay? How do you pago? It's just like the guy who died who used to play the Belambang Tutan. Ah, si Kwisostimo. Okay? Logo apa ako na eh? Panang edi na Belambang Tutan na giniwatogi ekwa afajit na gumay di sa no house with uh, Mr. Kenata playing the Bulembo Tuzan. So maybe, I mean, based on, on what, of course, the discussion is, is that that is something I think that Kaha, you know, should look into. When we think of Kaha, and, and I'm really happy that we're adding, you know, yourself uh, to this with a very different type of uh, cultural practice, that is not just the, when I say the arts, meaning the still arts, you know, the photos and things of that nature, but actually, like you say, uh, you know, other type of arts, like how to make robes, how to, you know, make balambatuz and how to, um, you know, um, make tuba, you know, all those things, right, could be done. So I'm hoping then, too, that, you know, take it one notch up you know, what Kahas has been doing to expand it beyond what they're doing. Because I go to the Kaha building and every other month maybe they'll have a display and normally it's just what I saw, the still arts, but something like what you do and what others do that you mentioned should also be a part of this, part of, of, of our culture. So I'm really hoping that, you know, you can do that. And I love the idea Definitely, it's funny that um, what you had expressed about our senior citizens, um, you know, center. Because I remember when I first came in to the legislature, I wanted exactly that. I wanted our manamkos to teach and tell the stories and demonstrate to the children what they know and can pass on before they, you know, leave uh, this earth. But I was actually practically kicked out of the senior citizens community center. They said, what? I've done my time already with my family, and you're not going to take away my time you know, for bingo uh, by doing that. So I really hope, you know, and I'll be more than happy to help you. You know, the senator and I will be more than happy. I can say that because I know where her heart is, too, uh, to help you make this happen because you are right, is that if we lose our language, we lose, you know, in essence, our culture and who we are, you know, as Chamorro. So I'm publicly saying that I will support you with that. If you need any assistance, anybody to talk to, call me. And Mr. Lazama, I, I could never call you Ms. Uh, Cornby because I respect you too much, and that's what I was trying to say. But, you know, uh, I think what, what I respect the most is that you're very humble and you're very rooted and you understand what it's going to take to make it happen you know and that's very important not about making a product and making money or something it's really it's a it's a mission almost with you and i and i get that and i understood it when we had those times to talk about where is our where are we going with our culture and who's learning and who's picking up and and who can start and and what's keeping people from even looking they don't have money they don't have resources they don't have someone to teach them and i think that that's uh that's the passion and the vision that you can bring a very practical vision to the board so i i would wholeheartedly wholeheartedly support you 
and, uh, and I'll keep practicing my Chamorro and learn Hola. more words. Hola, Monza, ang in mapresenta is titalto da para u escuela da munadan manai certificado o diploma. Debido you still legislature guaha tiporon malepa. We teach you this for free. Now you're gonna pass it on to somebody else by law. So la miga man ma fanaugin no hirero lo ti gef miga ino prumatitika. By law, you know, parewa dan is di mano pe kalit sang in matomagi on di di bisi i zaguam no si bisio. Okay, tay guimon is ti siya masters or ang in paron iskuela dan munadan iskuela mo de bidyon. Tay guia and not that that's how you pass it on. Jesus Marcy, Jesus Marcy. Okay. Shucks, I'm speaking without my mic being on. Thank you. So I have to repeat everything again. So anyway, so we have these 34 huts that are that were built over at the village, uh, the Chamorro village, and it would be an expansion of what's there. But it's also designed specifically then for the festival of the arts and where they're going to be able to house, um, you know, a country, an island. And I remember, you know, Mr. Lizama, when we, he heard about this, he and Greg Panglinan came to me and said, you know, we came back from the Solomon Islands and they had huts for everyone, you know, like a house. And we need to have something like that as well, you know, for the 27 countries that are coming here. So those then are the huts as part of FESPAC. But I did not want those huts to be just listed as hut number one, two, and three, when they're going to be assigning them out to, you know, vendors or even the islands right now that are coming. And uh, so we did some research and we found, we were able to, uh, we spoke to some individuals at the university, Chamorro Studies, uh, we, we found this book that was put together, I Man Manai Nata. And you know, originally Iran is so ironic because there are 27 countries and we have 27 chiefs in Magalahis. And so we thought, okay, that's just perfect. We got 27 and 27. But what we found out, they built 34. So now the question would be then is what do we name the other huts? So, the, you know, we call it the uh, Guma Antigo which is which are the huts and then we wanted of course uh, to name it after those uh, chiefs every single one of them so we're going to call them and you may not even heard of some of these names like you know guma kaisa that's one of the uh, the chiefs um, agualin uh, ula chaifi matapeng you know chelif ilao Hurao, of course you heard Hurao, Kepua, Choco, I mean there's more. There's 27 of them that 
we don't even know, our children don't even know. So we're thinking that this would be a nice tribute uh, to them. But at the same time, though, is to always remind our people of why they fought. And they fought because they wanted to, you know, to uh, keep uh, the culture alive, to stop the erosion of our indigenous, you know, people and culture. And also, that is in line with SBC. The reason why SBC was created was to help Pacific Islanders to stop the erosion of their indigenous, you know, culture and practices because of the influx sometimes of what we call, you know, foreigners to our community that starts to dilute, you know, our practices and our language. So this is totally in line with what's going on with SBC. So then now the thing that we're trying to get, of course, testimonies from, from people is that uh, in terms of what should we name the other huts that now there's seven huts. And in our research, we, were, we noticed they're all males. All the chiefs were males. And we always say that our island, it's um, a matrilineal society. Women play very important roles in the homes, in the community. But nowhere in our research could we find anyone. There's one reference only by one of the Spaniards who wrote. And he said it was the mother-in-law of this person called, you know, uh, Isong Song. But they didn't name the mother-in-law. They just said the mother-in-law. So they didn't name her. And I don't know why, like, all of the women leaders were nameless. So what I decided to do in this case, if you walk through the huts, if you've seen it, you know, they're on the ground. And then it starts to elevate because of the water levels that could potentially enter the area as a flood zone. And you'll notice that the almost the one in the center, you know, 34 is an even number, but the, almost the hut that's in the center with the steps that go up. I decided that in writing the bill that I wanted that to be Guma Maga Haga Siha. Because we've never recognized, they've not, historians have never recognized women leaders. And those, that's the hut that I feel then the center that should be rightfully named, you know, after all the women leaders, you know, during that particular uh, Chamorro Spanish era. Then there are, and you also know is that, you know, similar to other islands, when you go to Yap and you go to Palau, they have a hut called the men's, you know, hut or the men's house, what have you. So in working with that, I was thinking how, how it was for our people too, and even for uh, other than those with uh, specific names, it's like Guma Manamko for the elderly, Guma Famalauan, Guma Lalahi, Guma Famaguun, Guma Ulitao, Guma Jo Amti for your know, Surahanas and Surahanos. And then we came to the last one where also in this case to try to unite us, the Marianas, would be Guma Marianas. So that's what's in the bill. And of course, in a bill, you know, it can be amended. And so I'm saying this publicly only because I don't have anyone who signed up to testify on this. And I wanted to give as much information about it in case anyone would like to provide testimony. So thank you very much, Mr. Lizama. Yes, I would love to have you come and testify. And if there's any one of you also, whether it's yes or no, you can just come up and say, no, I disagree, or yes, I agree. I'll take that too. Okay. The Waswata tenemu meeting o ge jimi teng muni ji para e made in guam estina hat nai munga mana tai gui e ya esti guapa guna hat intention ne zona hat para ramentan samura na samura lon rata malingo estina hat nai sineta Recoita take a blatanita Tazuti nepodesti 
that are allowed, that, that are tampi, that are allowed to risk po fan halum, to fan manapasi. Ang in Malago po uh, ang lokat ni, guha lugat ang Malago. Lanun sagi, de be adun matsars did di. Okay? Sa, it is mo, uh, ay intention mo po destin made in Guam. Should be made in Guam, not made in Guam, uh, Philippines. It's got to be really made in Guam. Ang in thousands than it is made in Guam, na todo kon todo i i todo isti i tagwit san dia todo siya manafan halum todo gi lofan mat charge si tauto. Okay, most especially tourists. Da mungen mo na faligo talos ti tutontan ni para idun sa mura. Lo support ti ni i enon na bio ni poron poron na ina niya di i hard. Da haswa di is tauto Salomon matumagi. Da leng na i the Salomon na intention niya para i tourists. Two years later, poop the bonito to bonito to go out. They could tell the poginana. They build it in three months. Someone must force. Okay? It's the generations after generation that heart will still be there. You see? It's very important that our legacy will remain forever. That we, uh, we believe in ourselves. And again, we support the non abuse. Just mercy. Oh, good mercy. Is there anyone out there? I know you're all smiling, nodding your head when I was talking, so you seem to be all in favor. <laughs> so I'll just take all your names that said you support uh, Mr. Lizama, that you're all supporting Bill. <laughs> yes? Okay, but I'm not sure if 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 I'm I, we really searched and searched, and we called the university as well to see if they could help us. And the only one that we found is exactly that woman that was referenced, who was the mother-in-law of Song Song. So, and that's all we could get. Yeah, it'd be good to share some of these things because it has to do with, you know, the culture. Iti mamaon na gitinay tayo, gi history and all that. Man mamames ti Samuro. Then mas takkilo po na ayang yung guwaw sa tao da asagwa na yung tiyempo. Duman na yung dos dan esto osunos ano ay Resta ti famagon mo tun ma agang tata, okay? Ang ginundingo na lo esti i mama importante ang ginguo masagwa, importante ang ginguo matay esta pa ogula la la four thousand years ago kesa na fugu. Yes, and I even heard that there's certain bitter nuts that they call puga mamaisin that it has to be really red and that when you chew it, your ears even turn hot. You see a million star. Yes. I too be doing that. <laughs> yes, that's, that, you're absolutely right. And, uh, and you're right. Even though we say that the culture, you know, some people think it's dead or dying, but I do know of specific individuals that they do bring, still bring, you know, Pugwa and Pupulu, you know, when they go out and do the, you know, mamaisin. Mamaisin saina. Mamaisin saina. Ang yung mga matay mapas, ipigwa. Yeah, exactly. La, la, la. Yeah, still. Dapat na tisine po malutan na la, la. Okay. Zuz Marci. Ago Marci. So it's 10 minutes after 4 o'clock, and the committee has had confirmation hearings for the appointment of Mr. Francisco C. Lizama to serve in the CAHA board, and the appointment of Mr. Francisco B. Rabon also to serve in the CAHA board, 
and the hearing of bill number 302-33 which will name the 34 huts uh, for to recognize in individually our heroes and leaders of the Chamorro Spanish War. So uh, this concludes uh, our meeting and this public hearing then is adjourned. Thank you very much.